uh, in your testimony, you make the case against the immediate expensing of real estate given the unique nature of these assets. Your testimony also notes the recent MIT study that suggests the recovery periods for commercial real estate under the current tax code are out of sync with the economic recovery period of such property. Since we're trying to build a tax code that will promote sustained economic growth, would shortening the recovery period for commercial buildings from 39 years and rental housing from 27 and a half years be a reasonable alternative to immediate expensing? Yes, we, we strongly believe that, and I don't disagree at all with uh, what's been said about the power of expensing. I'm simply saying that sustainability in our industry, it will incent our industry to build, but we see no benefit to building buildings that are ahead of the demand in the economy. It puts stress on local markets. It puts stress on lenders' balance sheets. And ultimately, it's not good for the long-term growth of the economy. And so we are more, from our industry, more interested in economic, uh, economic lives of assets. And real estate, as MIT has studied, uh, real estate's proper economic life is closer to 20 years than 39 or 27 and a half years. And by the way, there is some misunderstanding about real estate. Why would you depreciate a building that people see standing for many, many years. And these buildings are very, very capital intensive. It's not just that they fall down. People invest money into these buildings to keep them a competitive part of our uh, economy and, and allow these buildings to adapt and be flexible to accommodate business as it changes over time. And I don't think anyone here would want to move into an uh, apartment or a, live in an, a work in an office that hasn't been rehabbed and updated for 30 or 40 years. So that's what this depreci depreciation is about. It's both physical wear and tear and economic obsolescence. So yes, I agree with what you're saying. And, and you suggest, I think, a 20-year recovery period. Would you apply that to both residential and non-residential property? Uh, I would, but there might be an argument based on what Senator Cantwell suggested earlier that you may want to have a different life for uh, residential versus non-residential, which is in current law today, and that's there largely as an incentive for housing. And lastly, should we consider expanding the 15-year 15 15-year recovery period that applies to improvements to certain types of real property and, and or shorten that period as well? Well, I, if, if tax reform adopts an expensing policy for all assets other than longer-lived, and that's where I would define it, a longer-lived asset like a structure, then I would say that leasehold improvements to accommodate the business needs should be expensed like any other business uh, uh, investment, yeah. if that's the direction that Congress goes. Thank you.